Welcome to Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm like the explosive one. And let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Did you hear what happened to Bud Light? <laughs> you heard about this? <laughs> There's a lot of laughter over there. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Oh, what is happening? Why are you laughing so much? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold I'll on, ask on, you again. On, but TNT, did you hear what happened with Bud Light? <laughs> we live in a society. All people right? are insane. We live in a society. So, yep. for the people who are unaware, yep. Bud Light partnered with a trans influencer. Yep. And all that she did was post a video of her drinking Bud Light. Yep. They didn't even really say anything. I don't m think much of this. Said something like, oh, Bud Light is tasty or some slogan or whatever. Very simple video. I guess the Bud Light community is not LGBTQ friendly. Uh, yeah. Like, they, yeah. they have... They suspended their – it was their, like, VP of marketing and somebody else. They said it, was, it wasn't voluntary. It, they went on a leave of absence. Mm. Not voluntary. And I'm like, you put this – these put these people on paid leave because they hire – like, their sales dropped, like, 17% in a week. Like, yeah. I was like – Oh, well, their demographic is not they friendly. Lost, they lost. They lost a lot of money, and uh, and they they panicked, and they actually uh, they made it worse. They discontinued. So uh, I don't know if you want to get into a lot of stuff that they did. I actually just watched a uh, a story on this a little bit ago. Yeah, a lot I think of the it's videos important to talk about because I think it's really ignorant what happened. They made they made themselves yeah. look even worse. So had you have you seen any of the videos of the people who were like you know uh, I guess protesting against it? That's <laughs> that kid rocks. Okay, so you saw the Kid Rock one. There was a bunch of other ones that kind of went viral. People like, you know, I'm going to take every Bud Light product out of my... I, I'm sorry to give them that voice. I'm gonna That's take, the right voice, though. It is, though. It is yeah, the right voice. I mean, I talked to the mothership. It's okay. <laughs> all right, all right, cool. If you, if you say it's okay, it's <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I'm going to go and take every every Bud Light can out of my refrigerator, and I'm going to throw it in the trash. <laughs> F you, Anheuser Bush. Yeah, Kid Rock... Uh, Shot a bunch with a like an AR-15, and then turns mm. to the camera. He's like, "F Bud Light, F Anheuser Busch," and I was mm. like, "Oh!" And there was even a a man who attempted. He made a commercial for it, and he had the idea to come up with his own beer that was called Ultra Right. <laughs> I mean, Ultra that, Right. I mean, they might as well just name rename Bud Light Ultra Right. <laughs> Why they tried? Yeah, they tried. Like, I, I guess they didn't know their audience. I mean, look, to say they didn't know their audience, man, I would have to say is that when you do something like that, sometimes you just have to weather the storm. People, no, I agree. People no, are, I, people. I was just being facetious. Like, yeah. they obviously didn't know their audience, though. That is true because I didn't realize that the people who drink Bud Light are a bunch of bigots. Um, at least 20 at least 20 percent of them if 20 percent of their sales went away, tw at least 20 percent of their say people who drink it are bigots. Well, I don't, I don't know, Jonas. I don't know what to tell you, man. There's a reason that Tucker Carlson show was the top rated news program in the country. Because he made it like wrestling. It was like it was like a it was a show. He whether, was a character. Whether you hate watched it or you agreed with the things he said. Yeah, I mean that's you, you, did, you did it for one. They were you did it for a uh, what's a polarizing person, perhaps. Perhaps like people just want to see what he's going to say next. Perhaps. Or people genuinely think that some of the stuff he says is insightful. And I tend to think is that certain individuals who, who, who follow to, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say follow, but some of those ideals are just a little bit concerning. So, yeah, I don't know. As far as the Budweiser thing, I, I don't know. I think they are a little bit cowardly for not wanting to just wait it out. If, if you're... Yeah, my my point, I guess, from the whole thing was like, yeah. if you were big enough to like go hard on it, like you did, and like yeah. be like, we're gonna hire a trans spokesperson, and then the first bit of pushback, you suspend the people who are behind it, drop the campaign, like that makes you look like 
you are anti LGBTQ community. Like you tried to do something, it almost looks like you tried to do it because you felt it was the right thing to do. All right, so and then it blew up in your face, and you're like, oh no. Okay, so now this is actually like you, you're talking to somebody that watches a little bit of Fox News here, John. Don't get me started, but this is actually what a lot of the uh, a lot of Republicans have an issue with when it comes to uh, wokeness, libs, and the woke and the woke ideal. Ideology is the fact that do you realize that companies actually get a a tax credit? They actually receive a tax credit for being inclusive, doing of, diversity trainings, all that sort of, of a stuff. Lot of that I can see that. Yeah. So the question is, is like, do these companies actually agree with it, or are they just doing it? To oh, receive I've that had credit? that problem forever because it's like it was very interesting because it was never a thing. And then, and then it all kind of started with the uh, Colin Kaepernick taking the knee, Black Lives Matter. Like, that really brought, like, being pro, like, minority like, to light, right? And then from there, everyone was like, oh, the NFL kind of effed up with all that. We can't, we can't even say that, man. Well, it all began because of a dude putting his knee Oh, yeah, it really – yeah, yeah, okay. That, you're right, you're right. Start where it started. Yeah, that's – it. it a police with, officer murdered a guy. Because he didn't care enough about his life to have compassion. Yes. Sorry, happened. I forgot that was the event. I thought that came later, but that was the original event that started all that. And then it became, everyone was like, oh, that's messed up. We don't want to be anti-woke. And then everyone, everyone was just pushing it so hard. And it came from every Like... The like the NFL's putting, like, stop hate on their jerseys. I and remember like, that. And every, all that shit. And it's like... It seems so unauthentic. Yeah. And then, lo and behold, it's all kind of fallen. I mean, it's way more prevalent than it was, but the companies aren't pushing that shit anymore. No, be, and, and honestly, it's because when it when it feels like every company is doing it, and then it feels like it's like, okay, that's enough. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to lie to you, Jones. I'm, I don't need to see another black female in, in a lead role right now, all right? I'm good. <laughs> what, really? I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm gonna go watch the new Miss Marvel movie, and I'm gonna see a lot of diversity, and I'm going to enjoy the movie, and I'm going to give it a good review because I love Marvel movies. Yeah, yeah. But I'm good. I'm good. I don't want to see any more. Just give me a white dude in a shirt, please. Well, <laughs> okay, a, a white dude in a shirt. Just give me a white dude he's not gonna have a shirt on. I don't he's, care. He's fine. Be, have him shirtless. But it, it's very it, like it's very interesting. You I'm know, not picky just to see how the companies and everything gets pushed like this, and then it, it it just you're right when it when it's everywhere, it seems unauthentic, and it's not like na it it, it seems like it's being shoved down your well, throat. Don't turn you Republican yet, boy. What you just you're gonna turn you Republican? <laughs> you just wait. Yeah, but no, it, like no, I agree. I won't it's, stop it's, until it's, Jonas is at a Klan rally with I, me. Wow, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> You'll be there alone, buddy. <laughs> Do not ever put that in my mouth. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but it's it's I don't know, man. It's very it's just in what it is to me as someone who is like a like a cis white male who like I you know I, I have the most privilege out of anyone in this country. I get it. Like my 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 situation. It's very disappointing to me that that's how companies act. I'm glad that they do it. Because it's important, but that it's, part. But it, so, but it, it's, it's, it seems unauthentic, and that's as, that's worse. And that that and like I said, that that is the case. But as somebody that even may have or may in the future benefit from that, I have to say that I do think it's a good thing because I do think that a lot of people in some of these communities may have some issues with achieving something. So it's good to yeah. have outlets for them to have. Um, preferential status in certain things, yeah. whether you know, because there will be many opportunities where they'll have below preference for a lot of right, things. Right, right, and, um, and we've talked a, mi a million times about how, like, a lot of times people who have that hate are just have no experience dealing with those people. Yeah, whether it's like you're you're not exposed to gay people or black people or Hispanic people, and your echo chambers they're bad, they're this, they're that. That echo chamber is the worst part. So by having it and making people aware and seeing it on TV and whatever, it mm. normalizes it to people who aren't exposed. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. get that. There's a lot of value in that. Um, but it just I don't know, man. The the it, the, the inauthenticness of it really bothers me. But I mean, I it's still doing positive work. Yeah. It is no matter what, it's doing positive work. But it's it's so funny to me because it's like I don't know if I've necessarily been around like a bunch of 
gay people or even trans people in my life, but I don't necessarily have, I don't feel a way towards them. And I, I think that, but you, you know, also don't live in an echo chamber where people talk ish about them all the time. I mean, dude, in the nineties, it was wild. Yeah, but it was a different fam. time then. It was, but, a, like, it was wild. I but, mean, even, movies are dropping f bombs all the time. But you know what? You know what? This speaks towards that. Even though we use those words a lot in the '90s, people, not me, people, yeah, people did. in general did. Yeah, us collectively the as collect, a community, the proverbial us. Yes, the U.S. Yeah. Us. When yeah. I say that, um, me not having any hate towards that, even with the negative connotation that was like kind of drilled into our head back then, I think is is proof and positive that. You can you can sub you can overcome that echo chamber and still have your own oh, ideology is what I'm trying it's to say. It's funny you said that today about like coming from that. I saw I saw a ask Reddit thread today. They go, "What was the strangest thing anyone's told you not to do because it was quote unquote gay?" And like and like in one of the top answers was like date women, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what the 90s were everything was like don't do that you're gay yeah, like everything yeah, and it was like people yeah, listed like yeah. the most common stuff like going to work out like all this stuff yeah. that people i'm like that's that is the epitome of what it yeah. used to be people were like don't do that that's gay and you're like yeah, dude it was, what it was that i was, don't know man this it's, is what it was man but i, I yeah, no weird. hate no hate in my heart dude i've never treated oh, anybody man. who was gay or no i'm just thankful that i had a family trans that wasn't or anything racist. any differently or or homophobic or whatever like my family was super welcoming of anyone and like my parents had friends of like all nationalities and yeah. like, sexual orientations and like i don't know what my life would be like if not like i've met people who like they yeah, have like true. They, their family you know they'll be like man i hate it my family always makes these off-color comments about hispanic people or like whatever yeah. and it's like really and they're like yeah they'll call them xyz or this and it's not like direct racist comments but like very borderline inappropriate it's Tucker, comments. Tucker Carlson type. Yeah, like it's like my grandma <laughs> saying things like, "Oh, th those people are really nice." Like, grandma, you can't say those people. Like that, that thinly veiled racism. Yeah, is what they exactly. Call it. Like yeah, you're not yeah, basically yeah. saying a slur, but you're like you're putting them in a different category yeah, than everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I don't know, but anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. We out.